Hello, and thanks for checking out ChartGuys.com. We're proud to be one of the most successful technical analysis communities online, teaching you the skills to become a more confident, effective, and informed trader. Join our community of hundreds of analysts worldwide working together to learn the charts, generate profit, and achieve financial independence. Sign up for a one-week free trial, no credit card required, for access to daily live chart analysis and market coverage, a thriving chat community, along with dozens of hours of exclusive educational materials. We look forward to seeing you. Let's check out some charts. PCLN, NVDA, Tesla, Netflix, and CMG. So PCLN had the bull break we were looking for. It was a nice day trade, but we saw a lot of profit taking by the end of the day, and the big upper wick shows us that. So we had a bull break of the inside bar right away at 1939, a bull break of 1945 shortly after, broke 1950, 1960 psychological resistances, topped out at 1961.45 and then pulled back. So a nice bull break, didn't hold those gains and have to be watching for potential further consolidation from here, especially if we break the low of yesterday or today, I should say, which is 1934. Weekly time frame indecision doji. Bull still in favor with all moving averages as support, but this daily chart, tomorrow how we respond to this candlestick is going to be very important because, again, more likely than not, after you see that kind of profit taking, you see further consolidation leading into the next day. So that is something that we're going to be keeping an eye out for. NVDA, bulls bought the dip in a huge way. NVDA was directly correlated to the cryptocurrency space today. We dumped in the morning. We bounced in a big way, oversold bounce in Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin. They all bounced at the exact same time on the five minute chart. I shouldn't say the exact same time. There was a five minute difference, but it was without a doubt, there was a strong correlation between AMD, NVDA, and the semiconductor space and the actual cryptocurrencies. I've never seen that happen. I'm going to be watching very close for these correlations to continue because there was a great oversold bounce opportunity on NVDA when the five minute RSI was single digits and that allowed for big time gains. And again, the bounces played at the same time. So bulls bought the dip. We closed strong. Resistance is 198.90, the new all time high, and a new support is established at 193.32. Weekly chart is in breakout mode above the upper Bollinger Band, still a lead market bull, no slowdown in sight right now. And the cryptocurrencies continuing to trade them and they're continuing to bounce and recover. So again, I'm going to be watching that every day for that correlation. Tesla bull break over 360.10 resistance. We now have a higher low and a higher high on the daily. A bit of an upper wick of profit taking it with some sell-off at the end of the day, but still strong overall. 363 is new resistance. We'll have to watch the upper Bollinger Band resistance as well. That's going to continue dropping down and tightening the price up. And we'll be watching to see if the bulls can get continuation now that we have this break. Weekly time frame, bull break of the weekly inside bar and looking for continuation with a lack of resistance from where we stand after 363, we're looking up at 370. Netflix on the daily time frame, bearish reversal candlestick confirmed with pullback. Anything above 192.10 is a higher low on the daily, but we are certainly seeing the bulls run out of steam and the bears take over. So bears in control. The hourly chart is close to oversold. We're going to be watching for an entry above 192.10 support, anticipating the bulls are going to do their best to form a higher low and look for continuation to favor the bulls. Weekly time frame is rejecting from the upper Bollinger Band weekly resistance for the third week in a row, keeping a close eye on that pattern as it has clearly been a temporary top for the bulls each week, but all about the higher low. 192.10 has to hold for the bulls. CMG hit with a downgrade. Really bummer because it, it took away all the bull momentum. The bulls had a lot of momentum here and we were ready to break and see continuation. Downgrade taking the steam, the wind out of their sails. And we are now looking at support of 317.83 and then moving average support down into the 313, 314 range. So bears back in control. We're running out of time before we head into earnings. So I'm not liking CMG nearly as much as I used to. Just yesterday, I liked it a whole lot more. And that is why technical analysts really don't like upgrades and downgrades because they can sure ruin a chart setup very quickly. Weekly time frame for CMG is back testing these exponential supports. Two days to go, the bulls want to close above these levels by closing above 319 on the back test. And right now they are not doing so. So we have to see the bulls turn around, find a new higher low on the daily, and then try and get back in the 320s. So that's what we've got as we head into tomorrow. Nice, lots of bull breaks. PCLN, Tesla standing out, but the upper wicks with a bit of profit taking at the end of the day, definitely hindering a bit of that euphoria for the bulls. So I appreciate you watching. We'll see you tomorrow. Have a fantastic night.